All right, y'all. This afternoon, uh, gonna shoot some. Uh, gonna test out some cheap Winchester Super X shells. I got two different guns here. I got a uh, Winchester model 1300. Mossberg. They both all just no red dot. They have a uh, True Glow sights on them. I got my target set up here. I'm gonna aim for the middle circle. I'm gonna shoot them at both of them at 25 and 40 yards. And we're gonna find out see if this cheap ammo is any good because right now it's kind of hard to find any. You know TSS loads stuff like that and uh pretty much anywhere you could go into you can find these this load right here and uh I'm curious to see curious to see if it's any good it's uh I think right now 16 17 dollars a box right here where I'm at in Virginia but uh just gonna be a quick little video I'm gonna shoot I think I'm gonna shoot the Winchester 1300 first. I think it's gonna do the best out of the two guns. I'm gonna shoot at 25 and then 40 and then swap over to the Mossberg and do the same thing. So, uh, y'all stay tuned. Let's get set up. Well, unfortunately, uh, my main camera battery died. I don't know, I had battery. It just died real quick, not sure why. But I went ahead, I had the GoPros rolling and uh, was able to keep shooting.
start on the Mossberg first and show you how it done. Because uh, by far, no good for this setup for the Mossberg and this Mossberg choke. Extra, extra full choke. Uh, did not perform good at all, actually. Y'all take a look at this. Let's start with uh, the 25 yard mark. And if you can see, the bulk of my pattern was high and left. And uh, let's see, I got one, one in the beak. That's it. I got one in the beak. And that is it. That's all I got. Everything else right here. Not a terrible pattern. You know, as far as up here, but not great. For 25 yards, that's pretty bad. Let's hop over here to the 40 yards. And uh, if you can tell, just scattered everywhere. I mean, I'm aiming right here. I got two shots. Four. I got two down here, two right here, and one right below the eye. So what? Five shots in the neck and head. Not good at all. It actually somehow done better at 40 yards than it did right here at 20 yards or 25 yards. Let's uh, let's move on to the Winchester. 1100 and I'm not sure I think it's a Charleston 660 choke and it performed quite better than the Mossberg still not great but it would kill turkeys at 25 and 40 yards before anything past 40 yards would be questionable but let's go ahead and take a look at that so here's 25 yards again a little high I aimed in the center here so if I was aiming down here at the neck nuggets it had been extremely dead turkey but you know, I got four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen there's a there's a pile right here so I'd say over 20 at 25 yards not this is a much better pattern than what the Mossberg done and killed the turkey. So not bad there for them cheap $17 shells for 10 of them. Let's hop over here to 40 yards again though. Just real scattered again, aiming about right here. But I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven shots in the vitals. I'd say this is a dead turkey. But far as the pattern, it's not very, it's not great at all, actually. It's just scattered. I've... So a little recap. Um, I'm not very impressed with these shells, as you can see. I'd have missed the turkey at 25 yards with the Mossberg if I didn't take these out and shoot them before season come in. And that would have just, that would have been real bad. On opening day, I caught in a bird and just clean missed him like I did that target at 25 yards. The Winchester, yeah, you could take them out and uh, kill a turkey with them. But spend the money and get quality, quality shells. Um, I appreciate y'all for watching. We're going to have more 